a child is crying, a baby yes. is crying. Why is my father? Why is my father? There's a controversy. Please. We have almost uh, 500 people that are waiting to share their testimony, but we only listen to just one or two. Just that one or two will give you the insight of what is going to happen any moment from now. So, now, as a human being, you have problem, but you don't know. Sometimes you may not even know the, the, the source. You'll be thinking this way. You, you never knew it's that way. Uh, it's a wish. It's a witchcraft. It's your grandmother. It's your grandmom. Somebody who insult you last week. Somebody who cost you. Somebody who said to you, you will see. Because you lead to demand. You, you demand to, to, to see. And you live all the time by the senses. So, a human being, you, you live by senses. What you see, what you hear, what other tells you, what you read, these are the things that make up your life. You don't have any other life more than that. When you move, you look at where you want to march. So far, the surface is level, you march it. You never knew maybe that surface is just a, for, for periphery. There is danger beyond. But you live by, let me march, this place is smooth. What people say, ah, that place, there is arm robber, arm robber gang, they are there shooting, you're wrong. Whereas there is no arm robber there, because what you hear actually control your life. What you see control your life. Total control. What circumstances around you look like control your life. The taste of your food control your life. How you feel actually control your life. This is the life you live. And it's a dangerous life. Satan can just <clears throat> unprepared. This is what we talk about today. Senses. So this is why anytime you have problem, you begin to think uh, uh, who insult you last week, who cost you, who say you will see, who look at you so embarrassing, who hate you in the family. Now you will now carry all this into your heart and begin to look for spiritualists. By the time you get to spiritually, before you sit down, you say, ah, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Before you say, Charlie, you know, something hit you, away. it's the person that is doing you. It is what you carry in your. Before spiritually you say, eh, somebody insult you, somebody say you will see. Who is that person? Yes, yes, it's my in-law. It's my in-law. He say, I will see you. Now I have seen you. I have seen, you know, in fact, my stomach, look at my stomach, is big now. I have seen, I have seen, you know, the witch doctor will say, the man is a witch crowd, but bring three million naira. You will be delivered. You, they will solve your problem. You begin to run for three million. You see, your life is just full of fake. Just, just like that. So this is why when I move towards you, I may likely, I may, I may mention something you never think of. You never have mind. You begin to say, ah, what does this man say? What does he say? At the end of the day, when you go home and think about it, you agree with me, yes. So please, my brother, listen to this prophecy. We continue where we stopped yesterday. And those of us that were here, you came back again today because God guides your footstep to be here. You are welcome. So let's let's watch. A child is crying, a baby 
He's crying. Where is my father? Where is my father? There's a controversy over a child. Okay. You listen to that before you say it in French, please. You listen to that. When I meet you, I don't want to spend more than half a second. When I talk to you, whether you understand what I say or not, I will move. Because I see it as a trap of enemy for me to give so much attention to you. And why others are crying is a trap of enemy. You cannot imagine everybody want me to talk to them. But when I move now, I will begin to look for the serious cases. There are some cases, all cases are also serious. Headache key, stomach pain key, cancer key, HIV key. So far, the problem can key. But I begin to look for, because if I don't look for those serious issues, I may not be able to do anything tangible. So therefore, you please don't, don't hold me. Release me. When I talk to you, you don't understand. Just wait and think about it. Like this man, I abandon him. When I say a child is crying, he's looking for father. He said, eh? He said to me, eh? I said, eh? <laughs> I'm the child. But on getting home, <laughs> on getting home, you listen to what is going to happen now. Let's see what. You say, eh? I say, eh? I'm the child. Uh -huh. Emmanuel. My name is Mr. Ikenna Nebeolisa. I'm from Anambra State, where I reside in Cameroon. The problem who brought me in Synagogue Church of All Nations is when I do in my business, my business is full, everything. But the one day like this, Related to that, the problem he brought to synagogue is the business for everything for is witchcraft. Whereas himself is the head. Let's listen to what happened. Okay. One day like this, I slept. I dream. I see a man of God with a small boy on the seat. The poverty be Joshua in the seat. The distributors have sent me to come. That is what I did. He said, make I pass that through water and came and see him. I said, no, I will fall inside that water. He told me to come. I want to hold something. I fall. The water is not deep. When I reached the TV Joshua, he started telling me many things. After then, he gave me bread to shop. I eat the bread. I told my wife, I want to reach synagogue. I want to reach Nigeria. I borrowed money. I came to synagogue. When I reached the synagogue, I sit at the, at the back. One of them came to me and said, a hey, man, there is a child crying, asking about his father. There is controversy over his father. Before you talk, wait till carry you sit at the back. Because you want to look at the hand, the, the, the home. They say, I have, have it? <laughs> or they say, I tie people. You want to sit at the back. If I want to tie, you can run out. <laughs> it says, sit at the back. Look at the man very well before coming closer. Uh -huh. We listen to you. Uh -huh. Because it was my first time to enter the church, I sit at the back. My God gave me the prophecy. I'm surprised. I didn't understand the prophecy. Okay, I went to my hotel room. I sleep. I, I went to my hotel room. I, I slept. I remember as I met one girl in, a, in our village, in Obunike. I remember everything. I come back to synagogue. I told them, man, I explained to them. They give me, uh, they told me to go and find the child. You listen to that? When I was talking to him here, he said, eh? Because the wife, the whole world is looking, eh? I said, eh? I abandoned him. He said, he, from that moment, he, 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 he began to worry. Ah, how can this man say a child is crying? Looking for your father. What is the meaning of this? This is embarrassment. Yo. And he left the hotel, sleep, he could not sleep. Later, he now remembered that, hey, so, so many years, there's a lady she slept with, and she prevented. 
she just abandoned that girl. Ah, my God. Okay, let's watch. Let's listen. Uh -huh. After the man of God gave me the prophet, I saw everything in the room. I saw the lady. I remember it's eight years ago. I was uh, meet with that girl in Obunike. So I sent my friend and my sister to go and look after the boy. When they asked the family, they said the girl have already married, but his grandmother is there with the child. I said, okay, let them ask the, uh, the grandmother who have the child. They said they don't know his father. They don't know everything. The, the, the daughter told them that nobody care about the boy. I said, okay, I'm coming to see the boy. When I came here, I meet the ushers, then take me to the uh, uh, coordinators. They told me to go and find the boy. When I entered the family, I saw a small boy playing outside. Something told me that is, this is that child. I said, I say one of my friends will follow me to there. This is that my child. Something told me that this is that child. I asked one woman over there, say, what, who is this guy? He said, it's the guy you're talking about. I said, ha, this is that guy I'm talking about. Too. This is the, 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 guy, uh, the child the uh, mother of God told me about. Too. From there, we are discussing how to come to synagogue to testify the testimony. Then say, they will follow me to synagogue and so and go and confirm the prophecy for man of God. So therefore, we are here and with this small boy and this mother and this small brother of that girl. Look, let me tell you, there are many of you like that. You don't know the root of your problem. There is no way, if, the, if not this prophecy, this man will not get out of the problem. Ah, he will not get out, he will, even at all, he, 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 he receive blessing, he will die with the blessing. We have just heard from the brother who is confirming the prophetic message he received from the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, on a Sunday service. He said he has been experiencing a series of business failure and hardship in life. So he came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations on that faithful Sunday service. And the man of God prophesied to him that there is a baby crying. And when he received that prophecy, he was surprised because he quickly did not understand who that baby is. So upon getting home, remember that before he came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations, he has already had a dream. In that dream, he saw the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, with a child, a little child, telling him to cross over a, a, a water. And he was saying, how will he cross? But he said he should come over. And when he come over, the prophet was explaining things to him. And still, he could not understand. Then after he came to the Snabok Church and received that prophetic message from man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, he went back home and he had a dream. In that dream, he saw the face of the same lady he had a fear with many years back who told him he, she had a baby for him. And he denied and said, there's nothing like that. So having had that revelation in the dream, he came back to the church and explained to the coordinators who told him to go and find where the boy is. So get into the family of that boy. He said he got into the house and saw a boy playing in the compound. And it said to the person that accompanied him there that this boy must be my child. He said something told him. Then he called the whole family and the girl in question was brought to the scene. And when he saw him, he was able to say, this is the boy in question that impregnated, impregnated her eight years ago. Now... Don't forget the message we just delivered now. We have a new kind of revelation. A new kind of knowledge. Don't forget. It is spiritual. Revelation knowledge. It is knowledge that has come to us by acting on the world and living in it. We do the world. We act the world. We live in, in, in a world. We trust implicitly in the, in the world. Let someone say a new revelation. So it is only by revelation you can have this grace. 
Anybody can come out and preach or prophesy. It doesn't take anything you can prophesy. Yes, it will rain tomorrow. Yes, somebody, somebody can prophesy for you. Anybody can prophesy for you. But there is a kind of revelation that will reveal himself disagree with me. They edit that thing. As long as they leave the whole thing on editor and play it for you like that. You will say, ah. I say, a child is crying, looking for a father. Look, you are the father of a child that is crying somewhere. If you don't look for this child, you cannot make it in life. He look at me and say, a child? What kind of child? A child? I say, yes, a child. I walk, I just walk out of him. It was embedded that called him that come stand there go and think about what man of god said he said no there's nothing like that no there's nothing like that it was just going you see the body you know it's very huge <laughs> there's nothing like that the evidence now come here and say ah take it easy go and think about it that is how this man walked out and went back to the hotel maybe when he got to the hotel he sit he sit down and say ah i came here with the problem and they are now telling me a child a child is crying. <laughs> a child is crying. What kind of problem is this? This is another problem. Yeah, I say my business is down, and now they add more problem for me. <laughs> that is what he was thinking. That I say I have a business. My business is collapsed. I have nowhere to live. Instead of this man to solve my problem, he now giving me another problem. You know the heart is so disturbed. He now went to tell and begin to think about it. Say. Ah. Why he was thinking he just have to eat and sleep. I say, well, it's my I will not come to Sinai again. They had people problem. That is what come out of his heart. But while he was sleeping, the woman he met long time. He saw the woman in the vision. The Lord showed him. This is the woman we are talking about. Are you saying you don't know this woman? Are you saying you don't know this woman? He woke out and started thinking. Say, yes, yes, it's true. The woman said he has a pregnancy. He is pregnant now. Ah, that day he could remember. Oh, he he started calling friends, calling everyone. They say, ah, the woman has given birth to a baby boy. The baby is in the village. No one, they have no father. He has no. It's just a bastard, just roaming about. That is how he came back. And so I'm very sorry. And I just remember now, help me. They will say, okay, in Jesus' name, he was afraid to go to the dark place. Go, nothing will happen to you. On getting there, he did not explain better. On getting there, he entered the village. They, nobody, nobody know him. Not until they look for the woman, the dark woman he slept with. The woman has married with somebody and he carried a baby, more, more, more other baby. The woman now came and said, yes, I knew this man. Yes, he slept with me, he's the one. So, tell me, this beyond human world, the same grace that talked to the whole world, that said the revelation, because many of you, when the prophecy was given, that something will happen. They say this man is he a prophet of the why is he prophesying negative? This one is a negative one. Is this one is negative? <laughs> so that's it. You say, ah, why is he saying this? Why is he saying play will cry? That is this why is it why can't you stop it? No. I'm only an an an, an a servant. When I see it this one is satanic war. I expose it in the life of that man. Satan block his mind, block his heart, not to remember again. But this time now give him a different direction. Continue to think about it. Think about it. Don't think about this. So that he will not be able to get solution. But I open, when I talk to him, the heart was still blocked. But God has to go a, 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 a step ahead to open his understanding. <laughs> to
to open his understanding to know the woman we are talking about. If not, this man will not come to the church by. He will just go. And say, so this man, when they talk of Sinago next time, we say, ah, the Sinago. My business collapsed. I went there. They had more to me, to, to my body. <laughs> this is what he was going to say. He said, ah, they, that play, they had more to my body. Oh. The body I carried there, I thought they would remove it, but they gave me another one. This is what I'm thinking now. They say a child is crying, and I don't know a child they are, they are talking about. So that is it. So let's see the child, the children. Okay, you want to say something? I want to say something, man of God. The other thing is that I don't know the girl. I don't. I just see the girl once in my friend's house, and I make love with that girl only once. This is. <laughs> Look, my brother. A amen. Are you? Amen. Amen. Listen to me. Listen to me. When you look at your life from beginning to the to the to the to the present, you will know that the, the problem, those things that give you problem, that give you headache and problem, they are only ones. Only ones. Only ones. Only ones, only ones, only ones, only ones, only one. Where you fight and beat person down, no problem. But just one slap like this is an abuse. You enter trouble. Where you insult people and say, I will deal with you, I will do this, you say all sorts of things, no problem. Just, I will deal with you, only ones. It's only one, so. <laughs> Are you with me? Many are in the graveyard. Just only ones. <laughs> only ones. By the time they're in trouble, they'll say, Now nah only ones, so. Now nah only ones, so. My friend, oh my friend, uh, this, uh, this friend, that day, this friend, oh Joe, this friend, Steve, this friend, this, they do it every day. I just follow them only once, yo. <laughs> Look, anytime they catch thief, you move close to the person they catch. Ask him that, eh? Are you a lover? Yes, only once, yo. The people that have been robbing for many years, they never catch them. Only once. And the people, if they are able to shoot or gun any one of them and it's not yet die, meet the person in the pool of blood say, Ah, what led you to rob? It's only once, you. It's only once. Tell your neighbor, only once. <laughs> okay, let's let's see only once. Okay, one I met the girl, we met only once. I traveled to Cameroon. <laughs> uh, uh, two months after, my brother called me on telephone, said the girl is pregnant. I said, when is pregnant? It's not my business. What in concern me? Uh -huh. Can you see? And when I was telling you here that a child is crying, you say which kind of child? So you have that, you know, you are aware. But I was telling you a child is crying, you say which child crying? Now he's now confessing now that he knew something like that in the past. But when I was talking, instead of saying yes, but he said, so let's see the... the <laughs> You know, many people want to enjoy the grace you are enjoying. Okay, he want to, he want to talk. Give him and let these people come on there, huh? Okay, when, when I traveled, when I then told me about this, I came here, the man of God gave me the prophet and surprise. As, as I see, I was uh, dream. When I went back to the village, the, the, mother, the mother of the baby don't allow me to see the child, don't allow me to take the child. He said, you don't know me, you don't know anything about me. How can I come to say that, it's my, that this boy is my child? And stop, my grandmother, the grandmother of the, uh, the child, he refused me to take the child. I'm surprised. What, when I, as they told me, I'm praying, God make them to change their mind. 
uh, one day the grandmother called me on phone say my brother come and take your child the child resemble you is your child as i saw you i'm surprised now now they are here with me to testify the goodness of god so they are here to justify only ones Can you see the face and the, that man face? Mr. Only Ones. Let us watch a screen and see the Put the other session. face on the screen. Put the man face on the hand. That is the man and the little boy. <laughs> you can see the resemblance. Mr. Only Ones. Look at these two faces. Huh? This one has suffered so that is the eye that is why the eye look like a, eh? like only one <laughs> this eye has suffered so that is why the eye look like a, only ones. But this one is a small baby. Look at the two face. Very oblong. I think I'm right. Is that not oblong face? Well, what else again? Everybody wants to enjoy the same grace. So don't let us take our time. We have seen the goodness of God. Now, what next? Whatever this man lay hand, he should go to the village and pay all the responsibility, all the money they have spent on this guy, this small child. He should give them some huge money to thank them. And now, take this child to go to school and uh, bring the child to, to, to himself. And whatever he lay hand, the road that closed will open. <laughs> go to the village, pay the money, the, all the care and the love they have given to this boy, and uh, go and see the elders, not only the mother or the, whatever. See the head the mama and, and say, sorry, you cannot pay them once. You continue to go there and thank them. Thank them. It's not something you can just go. Even $3 million cannot, it's not, it cannot pay that care and love. Rather, every time you have to go there, no matter how much you give them, you have to be going there to, to see how they are doing. And carry this child, put the child in the good school, let it be with you. As a father, yes, uh, I mean, so, so God wants to revise all the, 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 the courses on you to, will be revised and your road of blood will be open. So that's it. Thank you very much. Let's hear from the mama and the, the little shy. My name is Esther Zibo. The man. Okay. Mama does not know the man. What do you want Mama to say? Is... The woman, the mother of this child will have come, but he has married someone and has a child. The husband will not allow her to follow this uh, holy one. <laughs> I mean, will you allow such a person? Not that he is not respect the man of God or the church, but you cannot follow this holy one. <laughs> so let's have just let's time one more and uh one more Emmanuel. Praise the Lord. My name is Estezibo. I know no the, this man before. But At when your daughter saw him, what did your daughter say? The mother of this child. Hmm? Your daughter. My daughter say that this this man get this pecan. Uh -huh. hmm? I know know him. You know you you were not there when they met. Uh -huh. Only once they met. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Let's let's little boy. Let's hear the little boy. How are you? 
<laughs> so thank you, Momo. I will sit with you people, we discuss, and uh, I will, after today, I will, I will now separately, differently, by the mother of this child with the husband to thank her. So that's all. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Can you see the mystery? Can you see? Yeah? Let's see. So you two cannot pray it in that level. All you need is to begin to act on the way. Live in the way. Do the way. Act the way. Live the way. That's all. Your mind, tell your neighbor, your mind cannot be renewed by, by, by reading the word only. One mind cannot be renewed by studying the word only. No. So thank you, sir. Thank you. I want to meet you. The brother wants to talk. That nobody can say anything. It's only Momo, the mother of this boy. Okay? Since they are not here, I want to meet only the mother of this boy that has where to say. So they only come in, 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 in respect. They respect the man of God. They respect the church. That is why they are here. Because they don't know when this happened. And I also, I, I thank the mother of this boy and the new husband, the husband he had that he's living with, I understand. I too, I will not allow her to follow this, my, my, my brother. So I will now personally invite her and the husband. So I will invite them to thank, to thank her. So thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Mama. Je veux la réconciliation de cet homme avec son fils. Après la prophétie de l'homme de Dieu disant qu'il voyait un jeune garçon crier où est mon père. Et après cette prophétie, cet homme a rêvé, s'est rappelé d'une jeune femme qu'il avait rencontrée une seule fois, avec qui il avait des relations sexuelles une seule fois, et que cette femme était enceinte et qu'il a renié cet enfant. Et aujourd'hui, nous voyons la réconciliation avec la grand-mère de cet enfant et le frère de la fille à qui il avait rendu enceinte. The mystery in your life today. Just continue to meditate. You have seen one. Your problem cannot be greater than this. This one is a big mystery. Ah, it's a big mystery. This man will have remained, he will have suffered for the rest of his life. Because this boy, there's no way they, they can locate this boy. He never believed no one is much interested. If not after the prophecy, the revelation that follows actually frightened the man. And he ran back. So the same in the same day, whatever hidden agenda Satan have and connect you with it shall be broken today. Yeah. All the hidden agenda with you and Satan shall be broken today. Yeah. So thank you. Let's listen to the second one. Nous allons mettre en garde la vidéo du deuxième cas avant d'écouter leur témoignage. Baba, je veux vous voir. Ok Il y a quelque chose où la famille went to. Ils ont été kissés, ils veulent savoir qui a kissé ce homme. C'est un fait. C'est un fait. Donc ne vous inquiétez pas. Pour que vous sachiez, je sais ce que je parle. Je veux vous rencontrer. Donc il y a une accusation de l'accusation sur la femme. This woman is not a way they call her wish. It's affecting the whole family. It's true. To call the wrong woman, the wrong person a wish, whereas it's not a wish. Maybe God will use you to bring this family and deliver the family. Whereas likewise, you will be delivered to. You think so? so? Thank you. Thanks. So. Who are you? I'm the wife. You are the wife. Come. Emmanuel, 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 Emmanuel. Can you see? The house that had been broken, pata pata, in the presence of God, God will now 
reveal the revelation and they will become one. See that child discovering his father. See what is happening again? Revelation is beyond human understanding. That is why it can't work, it can't agree with what you see, what you hear, without examining them. What you see, without examining them in the light of God's word. It can never agree with what your circumstances look like, without examining your circumstances with, in the light of God's word. It can never agree with your feeling, unless you examine that feeling, what you, how you feel, in the light of God's word. Revelation from God. The new revelation knowledge can never agree. So can you see the life we live today? Because you are sick and the nature of your sickness has killed many people. You learn every day, the person, somebody died. By the time you ask, what killed the man? Ah, it's cancer. And you remember you have cancer. So ah, I will soon die. Oh. <laughs> because what you have is what is killing people now. You begin to say, ah, Another one, the man died. What killed the man? Cancer. Ah! You open the newspaper. What killed the man? Cancer. And you remember you have the same cancer. You, say, oh! you begin to say, oh, mm, six feet, six feet, six feet, six feet, six feet, six feet. When you are eating, six feet, six feet. When you turn around, six feet, six feet. When you are dressed up, six feet, six feet. That now makes you to be so irritated. When people call you, please don't call me, you don't know that I will soon die. <laughs> Sometimes you, you want to sit on your own, you say, uh, maybe you are driving, somebody stop you. Please, uncle, please help me, lift me. Do you think it's your father that have the car? <laughs> so irritated, everything, little thing. You and your wife or your husband, you sit down at home, you say, what's happened? Please, don't talk to me like that. Because that thing has occupied because of news. And you don't know that your situation is not meant to kill you. Because you are living by the senses. It may kill everyone but you. It is true it's a sickness. But your is not meant to, it's not like others. Mm -hmm. Emmanuel, I'm here to confirm my names are Taribio Fiberesima. I'm from Bayasa State. The next person to me is the woman that was accused of winch. She is my sister. The second person is the son that accused the mother of being a winch. The third person is the wife to the son that two or both of them accused the mother. The three, the three men here are representatives from the community. Also, she is my wife, also from the community, and she is the immediate senior sister of the woman, my sister that was accused of witch. The last Sunday, the man of God, the leading senior prophet of synagogue, church of all nations, and of the whole world, as I believe. He came to me that he wants to speak to me. I said, yes. He then prophesied that 
there is a woman in my family that was accused wrongly that due to death she was accused to be a winch that she wasn't a winch the allegation was not correct and that the community on hearing this accusation are trying to go to a place where they can verify the truth about the accusation of the woman of being a wench. He then said he is asking me to go to the community tell them about the prophecy and let them come to the synagogue church of all nations to meet him for reconciliation okay thank you yes uh, i think my brother okay the brother want to talk Okay, let's talk. Hello, my name is Kenneth Area. And the the man standing behind me is my uncle. And the one after him is my mother. The, then the other one is uh, is my wife. All right. So, let me just briefly say what happened. You know, I get married to my wife standing there. For the first time I get married to her, I told my mother that, that she is a woman I, I, I fell in love and I want to marry her. And later, she re replied me she replied me that there is no problem you can continue but she want to hear good living in us that is in our family so we continue so for the first time we get issued for a baby boy after getting the issue after some years let me say a period of three years plus this boy fell sick and died secondly after when this boy dead comes and go back she gets other baby again she delivered to a baby girl secondly so that one still died at the age of four years then thirdly she give birth to twin baby two baby boys so after giving birth to those boys even one of them died so this year this very year we are this 2012 i lose two babies the first one i lose the first one the twin march March in the month of March then the second one was August so after when all these things trying to occur let me say before she give birth to the twins I called out through phone and I called my mother through phone tell her that my wife has put to bed and successfully delivered the twins and also i called my uncle and informed him to they they said okay so as a son to mother i was expecting my mother to come to me either my wife to say hello you are you, you've done something just in form of thank you or to please my wife Ah, my in-law you tried 
may God stay with you. I, I, I do not see anything like that. There is no sign, nothing, nothing, until this boy fell to sick, very serious, and died. So after the death of the boy, I, I, I still don't see her and my uncle. I didn't see them. So after everything, I now have grudges within my mind. I said, what is happening to me? And whatever, if something like this happened to me and I have mother and uncle, strong, you know, healthy living people like this, they can at least come to me and caution me or show me a direction. Okay, my brother, I know everything. I know the reason, one of the reasons why you even accuse your mom, apart from this complaint. Your mother is into spiritualists, fetish things. I mean, it's, it's a, this traditional things is into it. Am I right? Yes. Don't worry. I want to assure you that this mother knows nothing. But he uh, you know nothing about your children. She's not the is not the one that kills your children. But your mother needs deliverance, and you too you need deliverance. <laughs> and you will be delivered. Your mother will be delivered. Every every household will be delivered. But the in terms of who kill your children, this mother he know nothing about it. But I said. A seven gods, not living God. But and I want to believe that the gospel is not preached to her with power. You know, some of our people we blame them that they are not uh, accept God. When you pray the gospel without power, they cannot accept you. But when you pray the gospel with power. It penetrates, it goes beyond human comprehension. It goes beyond, I mean, senses. So the woman has never received a gospel with power. So I want to assure you, this woman is not responsible for what happened to your children. But she needs deliverance. Why also you need deliverance? After your deliverance today to the whole family, I will now sit with you people, we discuss become family and i want to thank the villagers that are here today that thank you very much after they deliver everybody will receive deliverance and prayer so i want to meet all of you i want to join your community you can give me a call i mean i want to assure you so that i'm a brother just take me take me as your brother and uh, i'm at your service okay so momo uh, the gospel with power has not reached momo but today I believe that you must have known the God, the, the heaven and earth. So the Most High God, the Holy God. So thank you very much. Well, I want to thank you, sir, for coming here, sir. My brother, hey, you want to? Say, you have just one minute because thousand people are waiting. Okay, okay sir. sir. I have some reasons with me here. Mm -hmm. I listed them down okay can you say so, on, on that just one minute yeah she my mother said that my wife is older than me that i should forget about her that is one reason good that I call her. good mm -hmm. go ahead go ahead then secondly one reason is that your mother your wife is older than you yes you should that i should that i should, 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 should leave her okay one two. then secondly uh-huh Man of God prophesied to Please, me. Please, can that you tap it on the screen? Who is, who is on the table there? Are you taking wine or I don't know that you are? Man of God prophesied to me that before I will get married as a Christian, that I should go and pay a diary, that I should pay money to her, her parents. Which, so, which man of God? Uh, my pastor. Uh -huh. I thought uh, you say I'm the one. No. <laughs> so. I will now say. So I go to my mother as a mother, I explain to her that I want to pay a diary. So as a mother, you should be aware 
of what I want to do. And she, she, she refused and said that if I am ready to marry this woman, that I will not have money until my lifetime. Okay. So that is why he, I call that wish. He, he say it to you directly, Abby? Yes. Okay. Number two. That number two now. Number one is the, your wife is older than you. Okay. There is nothing bad about that. A woman can say that. Number two. Now, your pastor say you must pay that. The pastor does not need to tell you this. Pastor to do that already. The pastor does not need to tell us that. It's a normal thing. That you must do pay dowry, you must do this, you must do that. Okay, which is now. Two, what your mommy now say to you now? One on one, out of anger, out of annoyance. These are the senses. senses. So when we demand to see, we live by the senses. And I'm just telling you, it's out of anger. So that disagreement between you and your mom will be settled, but it has no witches or wizard behind it. There is nothing like that. It's a mother and daughter son disagreement. Okay, a mother can say to the son, you're a foolish boy. And the son too, sometimes you get anger. So it's just like that. I will meet you people after the prayer. I will have to meet you people. There is nothing like witches and wizards. I quite understand. I, I, I'm happy that you speak your mind. If you don't speak your mind, and I will just stop it here, you, that thing will continue to bother you. Now you have speak your mind. And it throw open now. I think uh, fine. So thank you very much. So the coordinator take care of this family. I want to meet them after the prayer. So they are my guests. If they live outside, you give them accommodation. Okay? Give them, get them accommodation tonight. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I will see you. I will see you. Thank you. L'homme de Dieu vient juste de clarifier que la mère de ce jeune homme n'est pas une sorcière. Je n'ai appelé sa mère sorcière car c'est trois mois sont morts après que la mère ne soit pas sorcière. I will see you go and wait for me. Okay? It's all right. Il a dit que l'une des raisons c'est que sa mère lui a dit que sa femme était plus vieille que lui, qu'elle devait laisser sa femme, que s'il continuait avec ce mariage, il n'allait pas avoir d'argent pendant toute sa vie. C'est pour cela qu'il a appelé sa mère sorcière. L'homme de Dieu a dit que c'était de la colère qu'elle a utilisée pour pouvoir lui parler qu'elle n'est pas une sorcière. Ordinarily out there, what this brother is talking about, because you people live the mind to see and live by senses, is that is he has established issue of wishes and wizards. Which is that? Okay, because look at what he's saying, we're talking about. He said the wife is older than her, and older than him, means you should not marry her. Him, means you should not marry her. Now they get married. It means Mama is, is cross. And when Mama is cross, whatever happened now, Mama should be blamed. It's not in there. When she give birth to a baby twins, he expected Mama to carry gun, to carry drum and, and beat drum. Come down. And they do. When they talk of dowry, Mama say no. Because Mama say he's older than, the wife is older than him, Mama show no interest. So when they now come Mama to do dowry, Mama say dowry for who? <laughs> I think that is it. So all this couple with the, the whole thing. Uh, my friend, I think uh, you, uh, you are my friend. I, I want to tell you that, uh, look, uh, no matter the surface, God is God. God says there is no witches or wizard in this matter. Okay. It's a misunderstanding. You know, there is what we call misunderstanding and the spirit misunderstanding. You know that? Eh? Eh? That the half spirit behind it. That the half spirit behind it. Now that can devour. So if somebody said to you, I will beat you, I will, I will deal with you tomorrow. Ordinarily he may just said it. it. It's a mere confession. I will deal with you tomorrow. Now, if he meant to deal with you with action, that is spirit confession. He will carry it out. The one that will carry, they carry out, and the one they are not carrying out, how will you know? Be in between. This is just the situation we find ourselves in this society today. So thank you, Ness. Please, thank you. Where's your husband? Call your husband. Chibo. Come.
what you find in this woman when you marry her it was for some time after some time the love is not the same again there is a man between two of you that disturbing this marriage the affection you get so limited and died means the affection is not there yes daddy yes true daddy the affection is not there she keep complaining she keep complaining that you cannot continue like this she says she's tired of marriage if deliverance is not taking place this marriage cannot continue because it's like a man to man live at home it's true daddy eh? It's true, Daddy. It's true, Daddy. So, please, after delivering, you see the picture of what I'm talking about. So, the love will come back, okay? Receiving the prophetic message given by Prophet T.B. Joshua, the couple returned to the Synagogue Church of All Nations the next Saturday to receive prayer in Jesus' name, knowing that deliverance was needed to restore their marriage. Let's see what happened on the prayer line. You know, I share in that uh, prophetic way, I say, look, you need to be delivered. There's a man that is to solve this marriage. But I'm supposed to stand there and deliver them. But that is not my job. You remember I said it. That is not my job. I said, there's a man between you people. I'm only, the activity of the man, I expose the man. At the moment I expose the man, there was chain, hand, and leg. They must be delivered. That's at the moment. So also, when I talk to you, I, when I talk to you, I expose the devil that is tormenting you. So devil is, is, is in cage. So now, after that prophetic game, I mean, administration, I said, look, go and wait for deliverance. So who will deliver them? Not me, wise men. This is to tell you that uh, they are operating at a very high level. As far as this generation today, God has given them that the highest grace to deliver to end people. Amen. So if they are not operating at the highest level, I will do that deliver myself. Because I will not be able to, I will not want to leave them to do that. Because there is no way, it's not possible for you to, to leave your job for somebody who will destroy it. And when you know you can do better, eh? you want to do it. But because they do that, what I can also do is what they are doing. If there's any difference between me and them, it's an experience that what they can do under five minutes, I will do it in a second. But the same result. Okay, let's watch. If deliverance is not taking place, this marriage cannot continue. Because it's like a man to man live at home. It's true. Eh? It's true, Daddy. It's true, Daddy. It's true, Daddy. So please after deliverance you see the picture of what I'm talking about. So the law will come back, okay? After receiving the prophetic message. Do you remember I say after the deliverance? They will see that when they are delivering them, they will see the picture of what I'm talking about. So let's see the picture of what I was talking about. For you to know the prophecy, prophetic power, very mighty in the life of people. Let's go straight to the deliverance place because of time. In God Church of Nations the next Saturday to receive prayer in Jesus' name, knowing that deliverance was needed to restore their marriage. Let's see what happened on the prayer line. Here is wise man John Chi ministering to people at the Synagogue Church of All Nations prayer line in the name of Jesus Christ. As the resurrection power of God is flowing through his faculties to meet the needs of those who have come. Among the people who are receiving prayer is this lady who received a prophecy from Prophet T.U. Joshua as she is prayed for, the unclean spirit that was responsible for her marital problems is exposed by the light of God and she begins to manifest. Let us see what happens during her encounter with wise man John Chi in the prayer line. Hoyo! 
Jesus in the world. Say, continue. Stand up in the name of Jesus. Who are you? What do you want? You say what? What do you want? What have you done to her? She refused to stay with me. Her mother took her away from me. Her mother ran away with her. Because of time, we can allow them to come out to come and share their experience. So you 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 must have, you watch it last Sunday because we are trying to save our time. De ne voir la prophétie de ce couple où l'homme de Dieu a dit qu'il y a un homme entre elle et son mari. La première que cela est vrai, il y a un homme spirituel. Mais on veut aussi sa délivrance. Nous allons regarder la suite de la délivrance dimanche prochain. Alors maintenant, les écouter en direct. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, my name is Portia Noktu Lambenze Inanya, the man beside me is my husband Chibo Inanya, my, the girl here is Pumla Inanya and the other one is Awele Inanya. Uh, the reason that I came to Synagogue Church of All Nation, I realized in my life that there was trouble. My marriage was in trouble, I couldn't stay in it anymore. So after watching Emmanuel TV, I saw people coming here with the same situation like I was in. I decided to come in here. Uh, I, last Saturday, I received a prophecy from the man of God, and he came. He said uh, he sees a man between me and my husband. I confirmed that to be true. Looking back in my life, how we started the marriage, I remember saying, when he came to ask me for marriage, I remember asking him, I said, are you sure you want to marry me? And he said, yes. I said, are you truly sure because you're going to be trapped? So by then, as time going on, frankly, I didn't mean anything by that, but now, now looking back, I understand there was a spiritual husband talking to me, saying those words in order for him to be trapped in my life. And again, looking back, where I come from, my grandmother was the initiator. She was the one initi ordaining, initiating all the native doctors. She will be the one to take them to the river and know the exact time when they will come. So saying that there is a spiritual husband, apparently there is a husband which was assigned to me to marry me when I was born. And due to the dream that I was having, at times I would dream having, um, going to the river, turning into a crocodile, or sometimes I would dream breastfeeding children in the, in the dream, and of which in life I don't have affection for my own children. And my husband here, yeah, I don't take him for anything. He is like another person. Actually, I could easily say he's like a brother living with me in the house. So I'm saying that the, the, the prophecy is true. The life that we are living, me and my husband, is not the, hus the life that my husband and wife are supposed to live. And I can't even hold him. I can't, we won't, guys, you won't believe that. I can't even kiss my own husband because to me, he doesn't look like a husband, doesn't seem like a man of the house. So that spirit to me made me to control him, tell him what to do, where to go, with who and not with whom. So believing that this prophecy has done to my life, it has break, breakthrough in my life. And again, looking back, they, there was a time where the fight was too much. I went to file for divorce. But one thing said to me, no, but look at your children. They are going to suffer like you suffered. Because me growing up, I grew up with my mother. So my father passed away when I was at three years old and I said if I take these children away from this man that means I'll be living a world world life so God when God said to me rather withdraw the divorce and I withdraw the divorce as much as we are still standing here today yesterday I received my deliverance I thank God for that that uh, what me and my mother have gone through in life for the past 35 years, I'm 35 years old, for the past 35 years my mother has been suffering, but I thank God that the deliverance went through yesterday, that the spirit in me is out, the spirit of crocodile, the spirit of my grandmother who was tormenting me, I think it, it's out. The spirit of a spiritual husband has gone out. Today I can look at my children like my own children. I look at my husband with that affection that he is my husband. Especially like this, my, this girl here, her name is Pumla. 
I never hugged her. Actually, when I look at her, she was like irritating me. Each time I look at her, I was like, why are you here? He's like, is there a reason for you to be in my life? You're just a nuisance. So to, yesterday, I hugged her for the first time after giving birth to her. You listen to that, you say for the first time you, you did what? Well. The first time I hugged her after giving birth to her. Because each time I looked at her, she would be like nothing. She would be like irritating, a thing that is bugging my life, a thing that is, ho that is tying me to this man, a thing that is just there giving destruction to my life. Okay, can you tell us those spirits you, you were aware that were tormenting you? The Okay, I was aware that there was a spirit tormenting me, uh, especially like the spiritual husband, because I would feel in our bed, we'll feel crowded in my bed, and I would feel like there is somebody else, as much as I'm not feeling anything for him. So, and the dreams I was having, I'll, I'll just dream walking, and I'll find myself as if I'm going to the river, I will turn, like I will wear uh, a crocodile garment, so and go to the river. Hmm. What other spirit you are wearing? The spirit of spiritual husband, the spirit of uh, annoyance. I was getting easily annoyed, easily what depressed. Of, what of crocodile? I do dreamt of crocodile, but I think with crocodile is the one that I felt I need to be in charge. I need to be in charge. I need to be in charge. Mm. So as much as when I would fight with my husband, whatever, when that week we fought, nothing would happen to him up until he would come to me and say, my dear, I'm sorry, then I will let go of everything. Hmm. You listen to that? In the past, when she said to the husband, don't go this way, the husband want to use, yes, he's a husband. Why can't you control me? I will go there. But the husband will go there and regret. And will not come back and say, ah, then, I'm sorry. You say, I should not go there. Something happened. So you will not say, if you say, don't go there. You say you want to go there because you're a man. Okay, go there. But you regret that. That's what he's saying. So this is. Um, now, after your deliverance, how do you see your husband? After, it's like I haven't seen him for quite a long time, actually, because yesterday I hugged him and I was like, are you serious? What really happened? So when I was, look, when, when I was looking at where they were writing what I said, I said, did I really say all those things? I said to them, I'm sorry, I hugged him. It's like I was seeing my daughter for the first time in life. Okay. And my husband is like, I haven't seen him for quite a long time. Okay, Can let me ask you a question. Now, upon the law, your husband has been given to you. Because we know your husband loves you so much. Does he, did he mean you are not even, like, I mean, experienced any love at all in the past upon the love given to you? I don't feel anything at all. I don't feel nothing, nothing. There's nothing that I feel of him. Hmm. To the extent that I can't even kiss him, so hmm. there was nothing. But right now, after your deliverance, after my deliverance, I felt like he is my husband and I kissed him. Yeah, kiss now, kiss now. You'll be back together. Go on. <laughs> Thank you. You listen to that. That's all. Sit down. Shame on you. All power belongs to Jesus. Can you see? Can you see? This man, this my friend has been less so, less so. Everything he's trying to do, he has to beg, beg, beg. I mean, it's not natural. Can you see? Check yourself. Tell your neighbor, check yourself. Check your home. Check your companion. Check your partner. Over to you. Let's play just two minutes because when they were playing the record, I, I, I could see the way she behaved there. She covered her face. I said, ah, okay, it's all right, come on. Now you can say this, glory be to God, because you really, you are so delighted that uh, you are here you are today. Let's play two to three minutes. The, 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 what happened in the past? What do you mean by she's a queen? She's a queen in the crocodile kingdom. Don't you see her supremacy? In the where? In 
the crocodile kingdom. Don't you see her supremacy? Can't you see? Where is the crocodile kingdom? In the ocean. Okay, yeah. in the ocean. Yes. yes. You live in the ocean. Yes, I live in the ocean. Oh, the crocodile. Uh, what have you done to a marriage? The spiritual husband that I sent, the man that was assigned to marry her, is the one dealing with it. I'm only dealing with my. I think the most important thing we need to know now. All this we have had enough of it. Now, the question we need to ask her now, because you can see she's very happy, is out of this thing. And I know she will be ready to answer any question. Now, my, my sister, I want to ask you a question. How could you tell the whole world how you people normally feel? Because you are normal when you walk towards the wise men. But suddenly, when the wise men lay hand upon you, you, be, you turn to another person as if you are drunk. Will you tell her what happened? Could you tell her what happened at the moment the hand was laid upon you? Because you were normal, you were laughing. You just walk in normally and you are looking like a normal person as if you want to talk to the wise man. But suddenly, the wise man lay hand upon you and you turn to another person. You become, or suddenly you, you turn to enemy. The whole thing now begin turn to light, darkness, light, darkness. When you watch the drama, you want to know who is light among these two people. Who is darkness among these people? People at home, they will say, oh, who is, who is light? Who is darkness? Who is light? Who is darkness? So you people are fighting until you surrender. Tell us what happened to you when the hand was laid upon you. We have many people here, they never experienced it before. They keep touching them, touching them. Some people, when they touch them, they will hold the wise man's hand. I have seen a man that grabbed the wise man's hand, that this your hand must fall me today. <laughs> so they keep touching them, touching them, touching them. They too, they are saying within them that they want to experience what these people are experiencing. Because each time they listen to your confession, they will be able to mention one or two that is also happened to them. But they never fall, they never shake. Could you please take your time and explain to the whole world? Each time the wise man, you walk towards the wise man, you are there normally, but suddenly the hand was laid upon you. You turned to enemy. You people started fighting. What happened to you when the hand was laid upon you? Tell us. Uh, when the wise man laid his hand on me, at first I felt like there was an electric shock. But I tried to resist it, and the second time he touched me, I just lost control. I don't know where I was. Clap for Jesus Christ. You listen to that? He said, first time, it was like electric shock. You know, when electric shocks you, you can get out of it. You just feel that, I mean, trigger. You get out of it. You say, what is this? But second time, you say, she lost control. Okay. At the time you lost control, what entered you? What did you see in that hand? What did you see at that environment you stand on? Please tell us. Uh, what I saw is like I was in darkness at first, and then I just saw a ray of light. Clap for just rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up. Can you see what we are talking about? Can you see? You listen to that? I knew this. I, I knew before she said it. But I want them, I think we should be asking them this question. Because you people, you never, you, you only see what happened, but you, ne you don't understand what is happening. You see, when she was moving, she stand, is a symbol of darkness at that time. At, at a move, with darkness and the wise men full of light. So each time they lay hand upon them, they transmit light. They put more light. They put more light until the darkness what fade away. Sit down. Okay, let me give you a good example. If the whole church is full of darkness, if you come with one candle, you cannot still see anything. You cannot see anything. When you now come with more candle, 
more candle. Each time you see them lay hand, they transmit light. If that light is not enough to, to disappear the darkness, they keep putting more light, putting more light, putting more light until the, the, the darkness within and without fade. Then you see them fall on the ground. We are, we, are, we are writing a book that you people will read. Look, I know, I, there was a time I, I took my time to say, this book you people keep reading. When I move around the church, I will see many books, uh, Deliverance several times, uh, several power for deliverance, 100 power for deliverance, head and leg for deliverance, this and deliverance, first three day for deliverance. There was a time I tried to collect one or two I read. Look, until you have that take you have that, that personal relationship, personal experience. If you have that gift, you should be able to explain it. But if you just look at it and you want to write a book, you are disabled the wall. Mm. Look, let me tell you, let me tell you, patient. If you pick a book, look at the name of the person and the picture of the person. Try to know. Does he involve or does he delivering people? Look at it. Look, there is no way you can explain what you don't do. It is not possible now. It's a secret of God. And if God has not exposed you or show you the secret, how will you begin to explain it at a distance? Look, it's, look here. You don't know what is here. But each time I bring it out, and I, I just tell you, I throw it, you see people will, you want to write a book about that. You have to get here and see what is there before you can write a book. Don't write a book. I pick it there. I throw it to you. It's, you, it's not enough to write a book of where I throw it to you. Go to the source and see what is there. If not, you will misinform public. This is why today you see people fasted and fasted and fasted 20 times 30 and they become they have ulcer because of the book they have read. Some people, when they are praying, you see them the way they will stand because they have to pray upon fire by fire, 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 fire by you see some people, they will do like, like, fire by fire, fire by fire, fire by fire, fire by fire. Stone by stone, stone by stone, stone by stone, fire by stone. Send that by, send back, send back, send back, send down, send down, pick it, pick it, send it back. If, what of? Send back to sender. What or if you see your mom up? That send that here to you. Will you kill your mom? Send back to sender. If it is, if, what of if it is your son? Yes, it happened. Our son today, many of our children today, because of what they look, what they see, they can go to any land to looking for money. If it is your own son that now send that it to you, and you want to send it back, by the time you send it back, maybe the son die, you start crying. You will not know that you are the one killed the son. Send back to sender. If I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. What? the mic is an old man what do you want to say come collect the mic next time when you are if you have high shoe you remove it give it to those who have
man of God. I'm in here with a very big difficulty. So it passed me, even where I stay now, if I go out, I reach there, it will not, they will not allow me to take my thing. That is more reason why you have to listen to what we are saying. Okay? You have to listen. We are not here for miracle. We are here for salvation of our soul. Hmm? So we are not here for miracle. We are here for salvation. When we get salvation, every other thing we are looking for will come. And you cannot get salvation without studying the word, acting on it, and living it. So this is the way. We are, we are telling you the word of God. How to maintain what you are about to receive. Eh? To receive something is not as difficult as to maintain it. So anybody can receive blessing. Not everyone can maintain it. We are talking of maintainer. All of you have been blessed before. But where is the blessing now? Because you cannot maintain it. It takes the word of God to maintain your blessing. And this is what we are talking about now. Baba, go and sit down. Give Baba. Maybe Baba need to go to a restaurant. You need to eat. Okay. Osha. Take Baba to a restaurant to eat and bring him back. Because uh, <laughs> this is not about. This is not over. <laughs> Please, so give him menu. I will pay. Please. Ah, because it's not normal. They are the ones that you should tell us the writing. Eh? And we thought uh, he's one of the people that have sent the arrow to. Huh? <laughs> Okay, let's let's just watch two 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 minutes or three minutes. You have listened, uh huh. Peace. What do you mean by she's a queen? She's a queen in the crocodile kingdom. Don't you see her supremacy? In the where? In the crocodile kingdom. Don't you see her supremacy? Can't you see? Where is the crocodile kingdom? In the ocean. Okay, yeah, in yes. the ocean. Yes. You live in the ocean. Yes, I live in the ocean. Well, the crocodile. Uh, what have you done to a marriage? The spiritual husband that I sent, the man that was assigned to marry her, is the one dealing with it. I'm only dealing with my own stuff, which is my blood, my grandchild. So I want her back. Her chair by my side is empty. That is why she's the only child. Okay. Okay. How do you operate? What do you mean, how do I operate? I gave her supremacy wherever she go, people bow on her. I protect her. She protects herself. She doesn't need me around. She's got it all by herself. I just need her by my side. She's my only grandchild. You don't get that. People respect her. When they look at her, they think she's all rich. And she's not. You don't get that part. Who is this man? The thing that attached itself to her. You say what? A thing that attached herself to her so thank you thank you with the return so you have listened to our sister he said each time she's touched he find himself more bright light the more she's touched the more the light become brighter and the darkness disappear so glory be to god now you sleep well tell us your experience when you are sleeping the since uh, you are delivered what are your experience in, in the in the vision your dream uh since i've been delivered everything is normal i look at my husband as my husband hence i said it's like i haven't seen him for quite a long time there's no i haven't dreamt any through a dream so these people have not been coming to you no Glory be to God, you have seen. I want to meet you people. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I will join your family because of time. What do you want to hear from my brother? Because of time. Let my brother go and wait. Go and sit down. Don't worry, sir. So go and sit down. I will see you people. Please. Thank you. So please, because of time. You have said it all. What do you want to hear? He said, it's beyond my brother. There's nothing he can do. Ah, my brother refused you. Because of, uh, you want to say something? Okay, just one minute. Okay. Ah, daughter. Good thing.
My name is Pumla Inanya and I'd like to say thank you daddy for delivering my parents and my sister including myself and even before we came here my mom said we're going to come here and man of God is going to ask her what does he what does she want from him and she's going to say I want him to be my father thank you and deliverance Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, the little one, you want to thank God? Oh yeah, thank God. Don't leave it to God. My name is Awele Nanya. I want to thank you for delivering my mom. Hallelujah. Please, thank you, thank you because of time. Ask them to wait for me immediately after the meeting. I want to see them. So thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Nous avons vu la confession de cette femme. Le méchant l'avait dit qu'elle était dans le royaume du crocodile. Maintenant, nous allons regarder un autre cas. of the ghost. You are the queen of the coast. Yes. As a queen, what have you done to her? I, I told her not to get married and she disobeyed us. You told her not to get married? Yeah. Why you don't want her to get married? Because she is the queen. Because she is the queen. Yes. What have you done to her life? Explain. She will never have peace with her husband. Even her in-laws, they will yes. never. She will never enjoy her marriage. Even her in-laws, they will never. She will never enjoy her marriage. Even her in-laws, they will never. She will never enjoy her marriage. Even her in-laws, they will never. She will never enjoy her marriage. Even her in-laws, they will never. She will never enjoy her marriage. Even her in-laws, they will never. She will never enjoy her marriage. Even her in-laws, they will never. She will never enjoy her marriage. Even her in-laws, they will never. She will never enjoy her marriage. As a queen, I have so many powers. Explain. I used to fly. You used to fly. Yeah, in the night. Speak louder. I used to fly in the night. Uh huh. The husband will never progress. I think he will never progress. I will keep on tormenting the man. He will always torment the man. The man chases her out from the house. How did you enter her body initially? It was when I was small. Now you demon everything that has a beginning must have an end. Your time has expired. Look here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. You demon. Out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. All over your body, Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. From your head to your toe. Holy Ghost fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This magnificent assembly of the misentendus entre elles. All over your body, Holy Ghost fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Son Marie et la belle. Come out, out in Jesus' name. Thank the Lord for this deliverance. In Jesus' name, we are declared free. On est déclaré libre de cette reine de la côte. Dans la puissance du nom de Jésus Christ. How are you, sister? Fine. Eh? I'm fine. Do you know what you said here? Yeah, no. You said that you are the queen of the coast. In the dream, I used to see myself mm -hmm. with marine spirits. You used to see yourself in the dream. Yeah, inside the river. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. I entendu dire. How? Can you explain? Que dans le rêve, se voit toujours avec des esprits marins. I used to tell my husband that I used to see myself 
beside the river and they were tormenting me so I now told my husband that even in that dream when they were praying for me I, I cannot be delivered they now asked me to go to Prophet T. B. Joshua that is why I now came down to this place they have taken me to so many places they have taken me to the river so many places so you have been to many places for deliverance yes but you are not able to be delivered yes so this is a confirmation to you for you to have a dream from God go to the synagogue church to be delivered and you have come here today Jesus Christ has delivered you Amen so this to confirm that what's happening here is purely divine Amen okay so that demon that has been destroying your life Jesus Christ has cast it out today Amen so you are delivered thank you Emmanuel, Emmanuel, my name is Mrs. Chidebero Kafo. I'm from Enugu State. Here with me is my husband, the sister-in-law, my mother-in-law, my brother-in-law, my elder sister. The problem that brought me to Synagogue Church of Nation is I am having a problem of marine spirit and spiritual problem. I'm queen of the ghosts. They have been tormenting me for the when I was small. They have been tormenting me by making trouble, by causing so many atrocity. Since I got married to my husband, I have no peace with him. Always having problem one after the other. Like my sister-in-law here with me, I cost her. I cost her. It, actually, they were even accusing me that I used to do. I used to go to. In my kingdom, we used to torment people and they were asking me to bring human blood. In this time around, they even asked me to kill, as in to bring life human being. So in that process, I've been so arrogant, so violent to people, even to my husband, to the family member, even to the extent, my mother-in-law, there was a time she came to my house, the way I... The way I beat my mother-in-law, wow, it was so bad, but it wasn't me, it was that demon because when they come like this, they'll ask me to bring blood and to bring, in this time around, they were even asking for human flesh. Anyway, this my sister-in-law, she got married this year, January, her husband stays in United Kingdom, I cursed her. That she's not, it's not me. The demon cost her that she's not going to enjoy that marriage. Her husband have already divorced her. This time around, my mother in law, there is one of my sister in law. You know, actually, they were even thinking that I'm a winch that I used to go to Abalis to go and do, to go and do juju. But in my, they never knew that I was, since I was born, I have never gone to any Abalis. That I was tormented by evil spirit. There is one of my sister-in-law. That one got married too. She has been troubling me. I cursed her when she was doing a traditional marriage. I went to the to the village. I was not happy. I did not even dress as if I was not dressed for the marriage, but I was in the family. I was around. When she wanted to enter the car, I parked the stand in the father's house. As in, I now cost her that since that you have been tormenting me, as you are going to your home, you will never, you will never enjoy that marriage. Up now, four years, four years now, she has not gotten baby in a marriage. My housemate also, the, the last one that even by now I could have been in jail. You understand, this is not the first time I've been beating my housemaid. I will bring out blood. 
I will make sure that blood comes out. So this time around, the little girl I was with, I used to take care of her. And she's just like my daughter. So I used to take care of her. So along the line, then they were asking me, the marine spirit were asking me to bring a human being. But I, I, I have never wanted to tell my husband that they asked me to bring a human being, uh, this thing, but I was just trying to tell my husband that mommy water is tormenting me and they want to kill me this time around. So in that dream, so many pastors came to deliver me. Reverend Father came, he ran. When the Father sprinkled holy water on my body, he now saw that uh, my body now changed to the marine spirit that is the man made in the river. The Reverend Father ran that he cannot do anything. So the pastor now, the pastor that even tried as in to deliver me was in that he was holding an an anointing oil. The pastor partled, partled, he said, oh, I cannot do it. They should take me to TB Joshua. Yeah. They should take me to TB Joshua. When I woke up in the dream, I told my husband that look at what then told me. My husband said, TB Joshua is far. My, my husband was telling me I should go to Fadambaka. I now said no. But they said I should go to meet Prophet TB Joshua. So along the line, it was this last one, man. By now, even as I'm talking to you, I'm wanted by the police and by the human rights. My husband went to report me because my little housemate, when I was beating her, she was running to do what I asked her to do. On her way running, she hit her high on the door handle. But within me, I know what was going on because it, was, it wasn't me that used that thing to hit her. They wanted to kill that girl. But to God be the glory, I ran as in. My husband went to call police. Police came to arrest me. I jumped through the fence. From the barbed wire, I have a cut on my leg. So my girlfriend, they gave me money. I should start coming to Lagos. Let's see the, the camera. Ah, what is the camera man there? So, you, what happened to your leg? I have a dislocation on my leg too. When I was running, I fell down. The bone got injured. You can see my leg. So I jumped the fence. So I couldn't walk. Even when I was coming to this place, they have to carry me inside the car. But when I got to this place, I was just sitting outside. This is my first time of coming to Lagos, to, to this place. But thank God today, the one of the wise man, the white man, the wise man, the white man delivered me there. So I'm not delivered. Man of God, please, I want to take this opportunity to ask you. I, th I think that is why God sent, so that your case will be very clear. Because since your case has gone to human rights and the police, God decided to send a white man. <laughs> so that the case will be clear. That this one is a clear record. Uh, the, the, I mean, <laughs> so and I know as we are talking now, the, the, both the, the police and the human rights, they are watching Imanet TV. And they are seeing what is going on. So I think uh, they have seen that uh, it's not just, your case is not uh, uh, just the uh, uh, idea to do this, to do that. There's a uh, power to be behind it, principality and all that. So mm -hmm. we thank God, assume you have not been delivered and you, you have encountered with them, you will have also tried to torture them spiritually. Who might write to you? Maybe you will have tortured them spiritually. <laughs> we thank God that uh, God has delivered you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So um, let's hear from our brother there. Emmanuel! Emmanuel! My name is Mr. Oswaka for Victor. I'm from Enugu. What brought me to Snacker Church of Foundation? I was uh, sometime last week, last two weeks, so to say, somebody called me from Snack Church of Foreign Nation that the man, I'm telling that the man of God wants to see me. I said, for what? He said, the man of God wants to see me. Now, my wife was, del was delivered here. I said, okay, I'll come. I want to defy it. I said, I'll come next week. 
He said, why would I come this week? I said, no, I'm not coming this week. I'm coming next week. So, along, prior to that time, somebody called me on phone that my wife was delivered. That was on Sunday. I was driving. I had a traffic jam. It starts to go and watch uh, in my night television, my night television that my wife was on camera. I said, no, I can't even make it because I'm, I, I was on traffic jam. So when I got to that place, I asked, but what did you see? One of my friends. He said, it was hell. He said, thank God, thank God, thank God. It's okay, no problem. So on Monday, on Monday, anyway, prior to this time, uh, our marriage has been in tumor. It has been trouble all along. I mean, for seven years being marriage, it was something else. You see, people came out here to say, they want to do this, they ran to the door, this. It's a, it's a far cry from what I'm saying. Now it's something else. It's not something I'll start saying one after the other here. But if I start, nobody will go here today. But once I want to, I want to make mention one or two of them. At a point, we've gone to deliverances because I know this problem is not just ordinary. What if you should act for you here, you should perform here, everybody will, everybody will run away. It's not, if a pastor by will say, no, something is wrong somewhere. So we've been going to deliverances from here to here, from one church to the other. At a point, we even pay money. We even pay money to get delivered. And at a point, they said, they even deliver me too. I said, okay, that's no problem. Go ahead. They do it for two weeks, three weeks. We keep on doing deliverance. No way. At a point, at a point, I have to even go fetish. Because when you have problem, people coming from left and right. This, this solution, this solution, this solution. I said, okay, one man came into our house one day. When she performed, the way she normally perform. You understand? Come. So when she normally perform, so they say, this man, so-so person, this so-so person, someone was in Dubai, had a problem in Dubai, the, 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 the fetish man made him come back, so we should go, we should go there. I said, there's no problem. I said, there's no problem. So along the line, I followed the woman, he said, it's going to cost me some money, buy goats, buy that and that and that. I said, okay, no problem, I gave them, that was 80,000. So when we are going for the sacrifice, what I, one thing happened, I know that the goat they bought, they told me I'm going to buy a goat of, say, 20, 25,000. The goat I saw on me was just a very, very small goat. I said, ah, are you sure this spirit is going to accept the goat? That's what I said in my mind. That is too small for the spirits. You understand? Okay. Okay. Uh, but prior to all these circumstances, we had have cases of fights. Fight here and there. If you look at what my lips here, that was a period she bought this lip, she bought this lip off. And God helped me. I don't know how it happened. It was a miracle. The stitch by I think went by, but it was, it was almost outside. I think went back again. I was, shocked. I was surprised. All this one has been fighting and fight. In fact, devils within our neighborhood, they can attest to all this things I'm saying. It does no two, three days that we are not in our compound. I go to, and I got my happy was only two in the compound. So no, no, most of people don't even know what is happening. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, my name is Oka Fogona from Enugu State in a Zag local government area. I happen to come here because of my sister-in-law, which happens to be my brother's wife. So since my brother had married this woman to our house, we have been having problems here and there. And our fam we are a family of six, two boys, two, four girls. And we have been in peace since we have grown up. So since she came into our family, problem every day. It happened that because of that problem, they left Mako, the Benue State, where they were living, back to Enugu, because of the shame he is causing to my brother in Mako, because he's well known to Mako, the Benue State. So when they get to Enugu, he thought that everything is going to be all right without knowing that it's going to be worse. And my mother, everybody in my house begin to say, begin to say that uh, if her, her legs touched Enugu state, that she will be all right. So at a time, my brother will begin to avoid her. We stop going to their house because she seems that we are the cause of her problem, not being in good terms with her husband. So we limit the way we go to their house. At a time, my mother will try to visit them, only, not only to go and stay there, only maybe she was going for checkup because she has eye problem. So the day she went, 
this woman came one night she left my brother my mother was like asking her what have where are you going to adam according to our own call to our daughter-in-law he said adam where are you going to that is late so she didn't talk to her so when she came back it was very late my mother was already lying on the bed sleeping she was knocking my mother didn't know who is knocking because before you come inside the compound you must know that your visitor is coming you'll be ready to open door for the person so when she managed to come inside she now ran to my mother's bed where she's lying down started beating her this woman i know you're a witch you want to kill me in this house before he could know he started beating my brother mother and drag her in her two legs and my mother said he's sitting on the on the ground he dragged her to the gates you see bro gushing out from my mother's face <laughs> So, since then, problem continues. So, my, mo my mother's sister now came and took her to, to Anisha for treatment. So, my, mo my brother now wanted to know if he could see his wife. He could not see her. He now decided to pack all her luggage back to her parents. So, when she, he did that, everyone now started saying yes. Uh, she have gone, she have gone. And the, her, his children have gone for holidays in my elder sister's house. This one here that is married for four years without having a child because, for, for the sake of what she said. So, after that, he now, after, after packing all his luggage to, the, to her parents, after holidays, they asked me to come and look after the children. There are three kids then. This is the kiss. This one was one year old, which I have been nursing for good one year. It happened last year, March. So when the trouble was going, she started running around begging people to come and beg the husband. So at the time, you know, love of 13, my, the husband changed mind that he wants to bring her back. I told him that even if you must bring, bring her back, Allow us, the sisters and your brother and your, your family, to, to be the one to bring her back so that she will have a little fear in us. That whenever she wants to ask, you can only say, ah, you know, if not my people, that you wouldn't have come back. Oh, my brother refused that she is giving us dates. So if we don't do it, he's going to bring her back. And he did it. The day he brought her back, I was in the room, I did not even know. Only to see all of them with the twins that she carried better, uh, she was pregnant when she ran away. She, they, all of them were, were just met me inside the room. I don't know what to say. The first thing she said is that there's one of her lapper which I'm using to take care of these children. She said, This is my lapper, this is my lapper. I stood up. Hey, brother, so you are still like this, you have never changed. And she couldn't say anything. She, she, she was just shocked and walked away. So after a while, Anna said that as far as my brother brought her back without our intention, uh, without our concept, that I'm going to leave the house. And I left. When I left, before then, I forgot to tell you, before then, when we came back, when we... <laughs> So before we came back, before I came back to Enugu to, to stay with these children, we we'll look to Enugu to their house. We we'll look around and, and search the whole house. I will find one of my, this is my elder sister's passports, which she used when she was in, when, when she was service. So after, uh, we now started saying that she is the cause of her child bearing. So after that, I got married. This year, January 7th, she was not there. My younger sister got married on Easter. She was not there. We are like saying that the devil have gone and the blessings have come to our family. So after a while, when I have left the house to my husband people, because my husband came from U.S. after my marriage, he left back. So I have gone to stay with my, uh, my parents-in-laws in my, in my husband's place. So as I'm there, 
She continued texting me message. She will call me. I will not pick her call. She continued texting me message that I will never have peace in my family. That as far as I, I came to occupy her husband's place, I will never have peace in my family. I was thinking that is a joke. When she texted that message, at times I do call the husband and say, see what your wife said though. He said, I should forget it. I should just forget it. So I said, and I see, forgotten the issue. But it's happened that after seven years of marriage, <laughs> the same man that I married so called me that she's no more interested of the marriage who married on January. <laughs> so I, well, I started telling my other brother that see what uh, I'll be saying all the why it has come to pass. So that is why. <laughs> Emmanuel, Emmanuel, my name is Mr. Chijoke Ozoka. I'm from Menugu State in the Zakaraka government area. This person is here, is my elder sister. This one is my senior sister. This one is my brother's wife. That one is my mom. So, since my brother, I live with my brother in Makadi after my school, we are very, very good. We are cooperating, eating together. You will not discover that he's our brother. It is said that he's our father. So after the marriage, my brother went to marry. He brought this girl into our house. Me and my other sister, the one is not here. So he told my brother that he should stop to marry this girl. What I see here is not a marriage girl. My brother said we should get out. Anything we bring, we will know, we will know here. We will just talk in here, in here. I said, okay, that's no problem. So we start to doing the marriage thing. So the first day we went to the, this girl's house in Enuguku. So uh, they are calling one kind name, which is my people who didn't like it. Well, they are calling one kind name, a wage, a wage. So and I now tell their people say that this thing they are talking about a wage is not good because they are with others people in their village. So then we we'll hear about this. So this guy said there's no problem. So I don't know that he went back to God tell my brother's wife. Immediately we are reaching our village in front of our house. Our wife just jumped and told the motor, Chi Joke, why are you talking like this? You are insulting my friends and this and the, the door of the marriage. The first day we went to their village. So I said, okay, no problem. So since we want to start to fight, we better forget about it. So after that, we are staying together. So there's nothing. Everything has scattered. My brother will not even call me. My me and my brother is not moving one road. Since over two years now, he never called me on phone. He didn't tell me, say that since she died, he will know I should not come to his barrier. I should not come to his house. I should go away. So because of the condition, I want to go and marry. Because I want my mother to alive. So since I married my wife last three years now, my wife has got a bed, he has got a pregnant, the first pregnant, the baby died in the womb, uh, eight years. I get another pregnant, that one died in nine years and three weeks. So, nine months and three weeks. So, this is happened with us, happened. So, I said, okay, I called my brother several times. You know, my mother was telling me that I should continue calling my brother. I should not forget about it. Make I remember that it's not because of his wife. I said, there's no problem. So, since that day, something has already happened in our house. There's no peace, no money, everything is scattered, no progress. Even in my senior brother, that's how we see ourselves. So, before we noticed, my brother called me about four days ago, said that I want to see me, I want to go to synagogue church. I said, for what? He said, they're calling us there. I said, okay, no problem. So, that's what brought us in synagogue church. So now we are thank God as our wife we deliver, may God deliver our family, may things going normal as we're going before in Jesus' name. Amen. Nous voulons entendre le cas de cette famille. Nous avons vu cette jeune femme recevoir sa délivrance de la reine de la côte. Nous avons vu comment les le membres de la famille, son mari et aussi la famille de son mari a souffert sous les mains de cette femme à cause de ce démon qui la possédait. 
Effectivement, on dit qu'ils ont été battus par cette femme les uns après les autres, même la mère de son mari, qu'elle a attrapé par les deux pieds, qu'elle a traîné dehors de la maison jusqu'à la barrière, et que sa mère, la mère de son mari était en sang. Et nous avons dit cette jeune femme aussi confessé que ce, ce démon qu'elle avait en elle euh, lui demandait de, de battre les gens jusqu'à ce qu'elle s'en sorte. Il avait même demandé dans son royaume, le royaume des ténèbres, d'amener de la chair humaine, d'amener euh, des gens. Elle a dit qu'effectivement, c'est ce démon en elle qui leur donnait de, de battre les membres de sa famille, de même de battre son mari. Il n'y a rien qu'elle ne puisse pas faire à qui que ce soit. Qu'elle a maudit chaque membre de la famille de son mari. Chacun a reçu cette malédiction et cette malédiction s'est accomplie dans leur vie. Aujourd'hui, ils sont là, ils se réjouissent de ce que cette jeune femme a été libérée. Demain, à ce que l'homme de Dieu puisse pouvoir les délivrer complètement de ce cauchemar qu'ils ont vécu depuis plusieurs années à cause du démon dont la femme de leur frère euh, avait, possédait. Nous allons maintenant écouter le mari de cette femme à nouveau. Uh, what brought us really was uh, just exactly two weeks today. Our house help was beaten to a state of coma. The next thing that we have to invite the police and the human rights, which I did not do. Somebody along the line did it. Because if you see that lady, that little girl, you'll be touched. You'll be forced to even act. And somebody did that on Monday. That will, that will be two, uh, three weeks tomorrow. And she was, the police were looking for her. Woman that went to police, big police, and were looking for her. It was then that she now ran down here. I don't even know if she came down here until I was invited. And thank God she has been delivered. And for her to be delivered, I'm, I, I, I believe that my whole family has been delivered. And things could, could to move better than it used to be in Jesus' name. Nous venons d'entendre du mari qui dit qu'effectivement, ce que les a amenés ici, euh, spécialement, c'est justement une petite fille qui vivait avec eux dans la maison, qui s'occupait qui de la maison, qu'elle a battu. Et lorsque cette jeune fille voulait s'enfuir, elle a heurté sa tête contre le mur et du sang a commencé à sortir de sa tête et de ses yeux, qui fait qu'ils ont dû l'emmener rapidement à l'hôpital. Elle a dit que les voisins qui se trouvent dans la communauté, connaissant justement ce dont sa femme était capable, ont appelé l'organisation des droits de l'homme et aussi la police contre sa femme. Aujourd'hui, sa femme est recherchée par l'organisation des droits de l'homme et aussi par la police à cause de cet acte, car la communauté sait très bien qu'il n'y a rien qu'elle ne puisse pas faire. Elle bat toujours les gens qu'elle voit toujours, elle veut toujours voir du sang avant qu'elle ne s'arrête. C'est pour cela qu'aujourd'hui ils sont venus avec un homme de Dieu pour se répondre à leur cas. So we have, we have been listening to the experiences of this family concerning how the evil spirits in the life of the lady who was delivered here has really tormented the entire family. Among the many things they said, uh, they explained that this lady used to physically fight and beat up the members of the family, specifically the mother-in-law, that there was a time the mother-in-law came to her house and she physically beat up the mother-in-law and dragged her outside of the home by her legs to the gates of the compound and blood was pouring out of her head at the time of this beating. And these are some of the experiences they have had with the evil spirit in the life of this sister. Even the husband explained that when she is very angry, she will become violent. And there was a time he, she even bit him on his lip and half of his lip was torn off because she was so violent when that anger came upon her that she had to see blood. The sister also explained how this lady cursed her. Uh, and as a result of that curse, the marriage that was nearly made January this year, she, the marriage has now been broken. And because of that curse, the husband and wife are no longer together. So we've been listening to these experiences and you can see that the family are very emotional because of the way and manner this demon in the life of this lady has really destroyed and tormented the entire family. And they explained that what brought them here today is that the last incident, this lady in a fit of rage was beating her house help to the point where she was coma in a coma and blood was flowing freely. And this was now reported to the human rights, who then took her to the police station, who came to arrest her. And in this process, she ran away, jumped over a fence, and injured her leg. And she, that's how she came to the synagogue church of all nations, where she was finally delivered here from that evil spirit, the queen of the coast, that was demanding for her to bring blood to the marine world. And she said whenever she fights, she has to fight to the point where blood flows. And once blood flows, that is where that blood will be taken to the marine kingdom. So we thank God that she's been delivered today. And that deliverance has now extended to the entire family and to her husband's family have well, as well, who have all suffered so much as a result of that demon, that queen of the coast, 
that was tormenting the life of this sister. 